So now, uh, a really important message. Uh, I made a film um, a few months ago about attendance and we've got items on our website and newsletters talking about attendance concerns. Uh, and sadly that hasn't gone away despite all of that. Um, nationally, th th there are major issues around school attendance. It's falling. It's falling everywhere. Uh, and it's hard to fathom and hard to realise attitudes to school attendance uh, should be a major priority for everyone. But, but nationally, head teachers are saying, what's going on? Something has to change. Um, in our situation, our figures remain above all national comparisons, which is, which is great. But in real terms, those national figures, they aren't worth an awful lot because they're falling rapidly and ours are falling as well. Um, and one particular area that concerns me is what we call persistent absence. Now, the government has determined that persistent absence is determined by any absence over a period of time, which is less than 90 percent. Uh, they determine that that is when uh, absence is of the greatest uh, and most severe concern. Um, people can argue right or wrong with that. Um, I, I do think the government uh, are right in many ways. The issue that I have is that they then expect people like me to fire every bullet for them. So it's quite easy for people in power to say, this shouldn't happen change this, do something about that. But as head teacher of school, I've got to try and keep some working relationship with those families that have children that are persistently absent, but by the same token, try and hold them to account and say, you've got to improve the attendance. You have to, and it's got to improve rapidly. Um, it, 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 is, it is a huge concern. There's no doubt about that at all. If I break it down in simple terms, children who have less than 90% attendance are going to miss more than an academic year in their child's education. So if we assume that there are 11 years, uh, plus of course you've got your reception year, it, it works out just on a just over uh, a, a, an academic year when you break the days down. So if you said to your child, you're going to miss a whole school year during your school life. You say, well, goodness me, that can't be right. That's wrong. What's going to be done about it? During the COVID closures, there was get the schools open, get the children back in, get the children back in. But yet we have families in our school and across the whole country who don't seem to have that priority. The children that are 90% or less on attendance are missing a whole school year in their educational life. That is just, that's really, 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 really poor and worrying. And I think rightly something's got to be done about that. And we were going to try and find a measure between uh, giving a nudge, but being strong. Yes, understanding at times why certain things happen, but trying to make that change. And we have to do that. And the government requires us to do that. It's not as though I can just sit here and be really nice and say nothing and just let things wander. Our persistent absence figures are getting worse all the time. They've doubled since schools reopened uh, after the second COVID closures. And unfortunately, it's a recurring pattern with recurring families. So we have to act. Uh, and unfortunately, in the last few days, we've been talking about sending correspondence out via our monitoring and we've done that in the last few days and we've heightened our monitoring processes simply because we have to do something for a range of we reasons we can't do nothing. I'll just give you one more example at the moment those children who are persistently absent are missing at least one if not two lessons out of every ten in a sequence of learning. Now we plan our English and maths often on a ten day cycle or in ten day batches that means those children are missing at least one or two of those vital 10 sessions. And the sessions are linked together. So if you miss two chinks in that piece of armour, you're going to be all at sea. And that's what the teachers find when the children return. They've, they're missing that link. 
you've got five parts in a story and they're missing one or two bits. They can't link their learning together. If you're building a session on complex sentences, then applying it. If they've missed the practice session, they won't apply it effectively. The children's lesson is all at sea when they miss a sequence. Now, if, you, if a, ch a child is off ill, they're generally off ill for a number of days and then they're back. That's the general sequence, that's the way it is. But those who are persistently absent are missing days all of the time. They're breaking their learning chain all of the time. And alongside the stat I gave you about missing a whole academic year, I'm sure that's not what you would want for your child. And that's what the government are talking about, and that's what we're trying to deal with. And it's a tough situation for teachers because I will now take some stick about sending out correspondence. But what do I do? Nothing is changing, nobody's taking it that seriously, and it's not getting any better. So, uh, as we put out on website correspondence, previous films, in writing, we've now begun to take some further action, some further steps on to, to reduce the persistent absence rates. But above all else, to tell families, we've got to turn it around. Uh, attendance is an issue nationally, uh, and it's a worry here as well. Overall, the figures are okay, but they're going downhill, uh, and that has to stop, and we have to turn that around. Uh, I understand it's a difficult one. I'll take a bit of stick, but I've got to do the right thing here. Uh, so anyway, harsh message over. Hopefully we'll see more positive attendance news in the days, weeks, and months ahead.